Om Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to ask the question, are you a victim, victim of the Redeemer Complex? The Redeemer Complex, are you a victim? What is the Redeemer Complex? Well, it's when we give ourselves away to something else to redeem or heal or fix our life and really the western world has been conditioned to do that if you look at this book not in his image by john lamb lash this is where really i'll be getting some of this information from but alan watts really spoke about it very very articulately if you don't know alan watts look him up on youtube and you'll see his breakdown of spirituality is, is fascinating stuff. It's amazing. It really is eye-opening. And he talked about the Redeemer Complex. And the, he, he talks about the, the victim and the perpetrator are like magnetized to each other. They need each other because they feed off of each other. Uh, the victim and the perpetrator, they, they desperately hold on to each other viciously, vicariously, to keep the bond intact. It's like a really, they need each other. It's like a really strong need. This isn't true of the first time out of the blue victims, he, he says, but those who glorify in the victim realm blindly follow the, the same narrative as the perpetrators. They, they're convinced that it puts them on a higher moral ground and they feel like they need to suffer. How many people out there are you seeing, oh, I've got to suffer for this person, I've got to suffer for that person. As the, as the Buddha said, life is suffering if you choose that route, that path of suffering. So with the Redeemer Complex, what Alan Watts is saying, that we've set up these institutions, and I don't mean to offend anybody with this video, but we set up these institutions where we fall into the Redeemer Complex. If you look at that in so many ways, if, if someone hasn't really understood the, the real core of a, say, a religion, if someone hasn't understood, they would fall into the Redeemer Complex by going to somebody else to heal, heal themselves as a human being, heal themselves spiritually as well, cleanse themselves. What the Redeemer Complex came out of was from the Gnostics, if you look at our past back past from Christianity and looking at the pagans and our conditioning is the pagans dirty people who creep around the woods no they were respective of nature they were amazing beings that honored the pre them, them being in the presence of nature because they understood that they were part of nature and then they understood or comprehended I should say that human beings were all in that same boat and they used to look after each other in that respect. They weren't looking for somebody else to tell them what to do. They worked it out for themselves inside, the Christos, the Christ inside of them. They, they, they connected with themselves, not connected to an outside force, they connected with themselves. So the Redeemer complex really is you going out and looking at somebody else to help you, redeem you. And we got it all throughout society today. If you look at the world and how it's been put together, which it has, it's been contrived and conspired to be put together like this, even though it's chaos, it's still a big conspiracy. Much research being done to highlight that. And just if you, if you haven't really looked down those rabbit holes, I would say do it, but don't go too deep if it's too much for you, because it really does blow your mind away. So it's the Redeemer Complex that we've been pushed down into these positions of actually looking to somebody else, like government, for instance. The government will terrify you so that you ask the government to keep you safe. And so therefore the government will do anything it wants once it's got you in that, in that position. If, you, if the government is fearful of the people, whether people are strong, intelligent and not putting up with all of this stuff that's going on, all of this, this chaos, 
then the government becomes fearful of the people, then the government starts to work for the people. Government should be small and looking after the country's interests. It's the communities that we should be looking out for each other. And the communities really starts with you as an individual. You are the beginnings of your community. You are the beginnings of your life. You are the beginnings of your world. You go to somebody else to try and fulfill that actual basic human right that you have, you'll be losing. You'll be losing those rights. You'll be losing your energy. You're giving it away to somebody else. So you, you want to bring that energy back into yourself. You don't want to fall into this redeemer complex where somebody else takes on the responsibilities of yourself and the responsibilities of yourself is your ability to respond. Don't give that ability to respond to somebody else. We've all done it. We all fall into that. Oh, someone else has sorted it out for me. Oh, somebody else is on that. Oh, I'll do it to my procrastination. We've all fallen for that and we've all got into that. We've all fallen for people who come on with a big smile. Hey, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that like the Ponzi schemes that were happening in the 80s and 90s are still happening today, actually. And the corporations who come in and tell you they're going to be doing good things and then realise that you've got poisons in some of the things that they're selling. And nobody seems to be that responsible for it. Nobody seems to be taking anybody to court. So it's up to us to start to stand up for that and say, hang on a minute. That is absolutely fundamentally wrong because they'll come up with all these intellectual arguments and telling you, putting you in fear again, making you feel like you're dumb, stupid, ignorant. Go and learn, do some research and then you can turn around and say, hang on a minute, that's what you've said here. What about this bulk of information here? And then you'll be able to open that up into a bigger discussion which is what we need to do we need to talk now because humanity is at a fork in the road you go down that way you have a 1984 brave new world type tyranny that would be a really amazing dystopic film <laughs> but do you want to live through that you go this way where you start to come back to yourself get out of the redeemer complex get out of people doing things for you focus for yourself and then take that love once it starts to grow in your heart which is the answer to everything love let that grow in your heart and then take that out to your community so you are the instigator of your life you are the one who controls the meaning in your life you are the one who controls the love in your life not someone coming in and taking that from you like the word fear for instance i like the uh someone says it, fear is false evidence appearing real so how much can you say is coming out of the mainstream media that is fear based 90 95 percent pushing you into that position so that you're looking for someone or something to heal that fear it's the redeemer complex it's the redeemer complex same with christianity if you listen to somebody say well you're going to go to hell for doing that well really are you following the teachings of christ jesus jesus christ if you're actually living a life saying that you're a christian by not living a life like jesus no <laughs> same with muslims you're not living the way muhammad said to live you're, you're falling into the cultural parts of this religion which is another different thing altogether but you're falling into looking to somebody else to actually give you the understanding of the book that you should be following the gnostics very interesting interestingly called the christians the people of the book i.e when they came up with a idea or a feeling or something an intuition that came into them that they they would say to the Christians ever to have rapport with them and the Christians go well no no I can't find that in the book and they would call them the people of the book because they were holding on to that book and not actually expanding the philosophies inside of the Bible which is an amazing book once you start to understand it and it's an amazing book to give us some hints on the history of our life and our civilizations history of our lives I should say history of our past which has been completely rubbed out by the Redeemer complex people who want to keep this bond in place as I say people will fight hand and fist to keep this bond in place people will 
actually stand up and die for these causes, which is what's happened in the past. Do we really need to do that now as human beings? No, we need to open up our hearts, take control of our own lives, help other people take control of their lives, and then we will find the peace in the world that we all deserve. <laughs> Simple as that, right? Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Sarang Hamida. Thank you.